What is parenchyma and how is it used for wood identification? I'm Frank Owens from the Wood Identification Team at Mississippi State University. In this series of videos, we'll teach you how to identify North American woods the scientific way with a small magnifying glass called a hand lens. In the previous several videos, we taught you how to identify oaks, elms, and hackberry. So far, we've been able to make identifications based primarily on pore groupings and arrangements. Going forward, we're going to rely on an additional feature called parenchyma to distinguish one kind of wood from another. In this video, we'll return to our wood anatomy toolbox and give you an introduction to parenchyma and the kinds of patterns it forms in North American hardwoods. So what is parenchyma? Parenchyma is a type of wood cell used by the tree for storage and other functions. Parenchyma cells form light-colored patterns such as lines, wings, and rings on the wood's cross-section. These patterns differ from wood to wood, so they're useful for separating one kind of wood from another when we view them with a hand lens. Among North American hardwoods, there are two general kinds of parenchyma patterns, the pore-hugging kind and the line kind. While the pore-hugging kind encircle or form a sheath around pores, the line kind do not. They just form horizontal or tangential lines. They may come into contact with a pore here and there, but they don't envelop or encircle it. Let's start by looking at a few of the poor hugging parenchyma patterns to get a better idea of this difference. The first kind of parenchyma pattern consists of lighter colored parenchyma cells surrounding a pore in the shape of a ring. This ring type we call vasocentric. As with most parenchyma patterns, there is some variation within types. For example, vasocentric parenchyma can form a thin ring around a pore, as in this image, or a thicker ring, as in this one. In either case, we call it vasocentric. Next, we'll move from the ring type to the wing type. Can you see how the parenchyma cells hugging the vessel project horizontally to form wing-like extensions? We call this pattern alliform parenchyma. And, just as with the previous pattern, we can see some variation. This image shows thin wings, while this image shows much thicker wings. In either case, we call this pattern aliform. Finally, let's move on to the connected type, where the parenchyma cells projecting from one pore connect with the parenchyma cells projecting from a neighboring pore. We call this connected type confluent parenchyma. And, just as with the other two categories, we can see some variation. This image shows two pores connected by a thin stream of parenchyma, as if the tips of their two wings were touching. And in this image, the parenchyma cells around and between the pores are so numerous, they form what looks like a wide river of light-colored tissue. In either case, we call this pattern confluent. Now let's take a look at parenchyma that form line patterns. Some woods exhibit short horizontal lines throughout the growth ring. Some of the lines touch pores, but many do not. And those that touch a pore can't really be accused of hugging it. We call this short line pattern apotracheal diffuse in aggregates. I know that name is a mouthful, right? Moving on from the short lines, we have long lines that occur with more or less regular spacing throughout the growth ring. We call these banded parenchyma. Banded parenchyma are easy to recognize and often form a net-like pattern when they intersect with the vertical rays. Finally, we have a parenchyma pattern that occurs only at the boundary between two growth rings. We call this marginal parenchyma. Instead of marking the beginning or end of a growth ring with an abrupt change in the size of pores, some woods mark the growth ring boundary with a row of marginal parenchyma. Now that we've covered three kinds of pore hugging patterns and three kinds of line patterns, let's see how each parenchyma pattern looks in real wood images. On the left, we have the vasocentric pattern. See how the pores in the late wood are surrounded by a ring of lighter colored tissue? In the middle, we have the aliform pattern. See how almost every pore has lateral projections that look like thin wings? And on the right, we have the confluent pattern. Can you see the little rivers of light-colored parenchyma tissue connecting the tiny pores in the late wood? Moving on to the line type, we'll start on the left with the apple tracheal diffuse and aggregates pattern. Can you see the short light-colored lines scattered throughout the growth ring? Some are touching a vessel, but some are not. In the middle, we have the banded pattern. See how those long horizontal lines intersect with the vertical rays to form what looks like a net? And on the right, we have marginal parenchyma. Can you see the single prominent 
light colored horizontal line between the growth rings. And that's all folks, congratulations. Now you know all the parenchyma patterns you need to identify the rest of the hardwoods in this series. I know this was a lot of new information with lots of new terminology. No one ever remembers all of this the first time they view it, so if you need a refresher, feel free to watch this video again and again. It might also help to read chapter four in the book by Dr. Bruce Hoadley I recommended in video one. He has a lot to say about parenchyma and can help you gain a firmer grasp on the topic. Now that you know about parenchyma patterns, you'll be able to easily identify the two hardwoods in our next video, hickory and pecan. If you're interested in learning how to identify wood the scientific way, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. We'll be rolling out new videos over the next several weeks. In the meantime, if you have a wood specimen you want scientifically identified or in-person or online training for yourself or your company, please send me an email at frank.owens at msstate.edu. This video has been brought to you by Mississippi State University Extension, taking care of what matters.